At the end of my senior year is when I shaved my head. <laughs> after I shaved my head, I then got my first tattoo, and then after that, I was like, you know what? This piercing idea, I think I'm going to try it. And so I got my eyebrow pierced. And about three weeks later, I got my lip pierced. And then it seemed like, because I was the only one of my friends that got an 18-year-old tattoo, you know, walk in and pick one out and, oh, I'm 18, let me get something small and silly. So, I was, since I was the only one that got one of those, all my friends suddenly regarded me as like the tattoo experts. They're like, oh, well, you've got one. So you've done it and I'm like that okay sure but they wanted me to go with them to tattoo parlors because they were all 18 19 and nervous about the first tattoo and I think it's pretty common to take somebody with you for your first tattoo I did I took uh, some <laughs> I took I was 18 and I took some friends of mine that were 15 because you know I wanted to be a good role model, and that was being a good role model. <laughs> so, so anyway, I got after I got my lip pierced and everything. So I had two piercings, shaved head, and an 18-year-old tattoo. So all my friends suddenly regarded me as this expert, and I got dragged along to a lot of tattoo appointments, a lot of first-time tattoo appointments, and I became friends with. Uh, well, not friends, really, but a regular customer of this tattoo, of this piercer that worked at the tattoo parlor that we all went to. And, you know, I'd show up and I'd be like, okay, let's, uh, since I'm here, let's pierce my cartilage or let's pierce my nose. So I ended up, I've got, well, my lip ring I've let close up because it clicked on my teeth. I maintained it for like three, four years, something like that. But it was destroying my teeth. So I let that one go pretty early on. And then my eyebrow ring, I've kind of also let go. Um, I've also, I currently wear two lobe piercings in each lobe, so that's a total of four. Two cartilage piercings, one in each cartilage, uh, so two of those, and then I have an industrial that actually goes through the ring of one of my cartilage piercings, and then I have two nose rings on the same side of my nose, and I get a lot of questions. I got a bunch of questions the other day, actually. I was at a I was picking up some fast food for a buddy of mine, and like all these little kids, or I mean little kids, they're probably 17, 18, they were all like, oh yeah, I want to get that, and how much does that hurt? And everybody always wants to know about the industrial, that's always the big one, that's the one everybody seems to want right now. Before I had the industrial, it was the nose ring, everybody wanted to know about the nose ring, and everybody thinks, you know, that even though I've got two hoops, they think it's one piercing, and I'm like, no, it's actually two holes. I then found a split jewelry that I liked. Okay, where was this going? This had a point. Oh yeah, uh, helmets. Helmets and piercings. When I first started riding, I was wearing my eyebrow ring regularly, and I was really worried that my eyebrow ring would interfere like with a full face helmet. So I actually opted for my first helmet. I had a modular helmet, and that is why. Most people get modular helmets well, for various reasons, but a lot of people get them so that they can put their glasses on easier. You know, if you wear prescription glasses and you wear them all the time, makes sense. Or um, if you ride a Goldwing, then you probably want to ride around with your helmet open. So that's another reason to get a modular. However, that really detracts from the safety of it. I don't recommend that behavior. Um, but I got it because, like I said, I had this eyebrow piercing and I was worried that pulling a full face helmet on my face, that sounded awkward, uh, was going to hurt a lot every day or rip out the piercing by accident, you know, get caught and rip it out. Because, you know, once you've been putting the helmet on for a while, you kind of do it in one big smooth motion. You don't really, you don't go as slow as you used to. But... 
it didn't hurt and I got pretty used to just putting my modular helmet on like a full face helmet and so I've switched permanently to full face helmets. Honestly, the only time I notice my piercings with helmets is when they're new. I got my second lobe piercings on each side done simultaneously. Because um, you typically get lobe piercings done simultaneously. But what I didn't think about was the fact that I was on my bike and I went outside and it was December. And I just got my ears done as so they were kind of like stinging. And I pulled my helmet on and I'm pretty sure I screamed. It hurt so bad. <laughs> But once they, I mean, I gave them like a week or two, and after that, they were fine. No problems, the lobes. The biggest one to heal, the biggest problem has been the industrial. Because it kind of, every time I put the helmet on, my ear kind of folds over. Because it, the bar will get hung up. And so I have to reach in there and reposition it for one thing. But then also... I've noticed that it's had a harder time healing than any of my other piercings and I'm thinking it's because I have my other cartilage piercings, my upper cartilage piercings done before I rode. So I've got this theory that if you get an industrial or other cartilage piercings that the padding inside the helmet, so let's be honest, none of us wash it as often as we should, but I think it kind of like reinfects it or kind of just hold some hair grease and whatnot. Cause it's had a heck of a time healing. It's finally healed now, but it was a long, long time for it to heal. So anyway, just uh, <laughs> in case you were wondering, oh, if I get this new piercing, how will it affect my motorcycling? Probably won't, but um, it might. Anyway, until next time, kids, ride safe. All right. <laughs>